Hello. Here we have this work visual project that we added uh, this ET200 to it. We added this ET200 to the robot uh, so we can control the grippers and some air pressure and get feedback from the grippers also and the air pressure. Uh, this AT200 uh, remote I.O. We use it as a remote I.O. Uh, to help the, the input and output for the KUKA. And then after that, after we added this, this I.O. is going to go to the KUKA controller. And then from KUKA controller, it's going to go to the main PLC in the cell, in the automation cell. So here, if we want to go see the configuration that we did, double click on the controller to open. And here it shows the Profinet communication and the AT200 uh, right here. So if I double click on it and I look at the module, here we see, let me take this down. Here we see all the modules that we added to the KUKA. So here we have the AT200 has power module. And then one, two, three, four input, one output, another Bauer module, and then two outputs. So here's the Bauer module, the first Bauer module, and then I, I have uh, four digital input, and then one digital output, another Bauer module, and then two outputs. So I'm going to show how we done that. I'm going to open another project, just example, and uh, let's open this project. So in this project, for example, open it here. Oh, this already has AT200 on it too, but let's let's cancel it. Let's delete it. For example, delete. Yes. Okay, we don't have it. So we want to add it first. To add it, we need to add the uh, the GSD file for this ET200 module. So if we go to uh, in the Profinet, if we go right click, uh, right click, and then add. Here shows us all the GSD file that we have on this robot controller. I did delete the GSD file for the AT200 so I can show how to bring it in. So it's not showing it now. So I cannot uh, add it. I have to add first the GSD file. So to do that, we're going to have to close the project first. We have no project open. Now we have no projects and then we go to file, import, export, import device description file, next. And now you will already be downloaded the GSD file from the internet. I went to Siemens uh, website right here and this is the link uh, for the GSD file for the AT200S that I'm using. I will add this link to the under the video and then right here. We browse where we save in the GSD file. This is our GSD file for the AT200S. And then next, now it's downloaded. It. It's going to download all these GSD files for the input and output and all that stuff. Finish. Okay, it's done. So now I go open my project. So now this one, I deleted it from it, so it doesn't have it. Yep, we have the ball off, but not the ET. So now I go to add the ET. Now I should see the ET, all of these. And now I just have to choose uh, which one I have, which version and which type of AT. 
uh, 200. So, and the one I have is the HF version 6. Yep, this is the one I have. This is the part, the version and the part number that I have. So I press OK. And here you go to add it here. So now, after it added it here, we're going to add the IB address and subnet mask and uh, device name, whatever you want to name it here to communicate with the Ruba, you name it. So ha now we put uh, our IB address, for example, you put your subnet, uh, you name it, any name you want, then uh, we're not changing anything here. Uh, we apply that, and then we go to module, and here we will add the module that we have. As we remember, we have first the Bauer module. No. You go with the number, the serial number here. You select the one you have, and then you go. Uh, we have digital input. We have four of them. Eight input each module. Yeah, like this. One, two, three, four. And then I had digital output. Eight digital output module and then I have another power 24e and two digital output so after doing that you have to apply again and now the robot knows how many inputs and outputs you have so press ok and now you go to the IO mapping to map those input and output between the RUBA and the ET200. So, on this side, make sure you are in a field bus, and then you select an ET, and now here, down under this side, it shows you all the inputs and outputs on this ET module. And in this side, left side, you go make sure you are in the RUBA side, KRC, that's a controller RUBA side, and digital input, or digital output so for now we're gonna uh, we're gonna uh, map the inputs of the ma of the AT200 to the inputs to in the module and uh, KUKA so now since I'm highlighting the AT with the digital input and the controller I can see the input in both sides here so I select the input that I want to connect from the AT to the and, hi and highlight it and also highlight the first input I want it to go with this input. So whenever I choose input zero and ET, a module, the first module, input zero in the first module, whenever that turn on, I want input number 111 on the KUKA control to turn on. So I highlight both and I select connect in the bottom here, connect. And now here it shows me in the middle that these are connected and uh, attached to linked to each other. And the same thing, I can uh, take a group for example from 1 to 7 I want to I want them to go from 12 to 18 or if I want to skip these for example I want to go from 113 to 1819 so it's going to be and then I linked those two so now they are linked it shows me here they are linked 0 to 111 but 113 and like that you can take all of these groups together the one is not linked. The green means it's linked, so you cannot take any more. The gray one is not linked, so you can take all the gray and uh, move them to that side. And that's that's how you link them, and that's how you end up doing it. Um, the output now, you're going to come back here to the KRC and select the output to show you the output in the KRC. In the AT200, it shows you the output in the bottom here, so you select this output again from and the same thing you select which output you want to start from 0 to 7 with output for example this one to this one oh okay let's select it like to make it easy oh, I need one more okay and now I link them 
now it shows me the output arm length. So whenever I press the input in the QRC, it shows me the input that length with the AT200. And whenever I press the output, it shows me the output is linked with the AT200. If you have another module, the same thing. You will highlight the module that you want to see. And then you press input and output in the KRC and shows you which input and output in the KRC linked to a specific module that you are selecting. And that's it. That's how you do it. And after that, you just save it and then you download it to the KRC. I have another video how to abort, how to uh, deploy the project to the KR to the controller. You can watch that video and uh, you're good to go. Thank you.